Hey, how you doing today, guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Alex, MTV Alex, and today I got something a little bit different and not kind of the same, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, this video is gonna be a little bit different. First of all, I got a few things that I, got, I need to cover with you guys. But before I do that, please go ahead and consider subscribing if you haven't done so, if you're not subscribed. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome to my channel. I have a lot of uh, mountain bike DIY stuff going on in there. Check out my, my, my videos, my playlist and all that good stuff. Leave a comment, subscribe, ask me any questions. And if you haven't, please go ahead and consider subscribing, turn the notification bell on. That way you don't miss any future content. And if you want to support the channel, you know, down there in the description, there's a buy me a cup of coffee and a bunch of affiliates links that if you use them, doesn't cost you anything. So let's get right into the content of this video. Okay, so the purpose of this video is going to be a little bit different. Today is December 20th, 21, 2021. And uh, I opened up another channel. Uh, some of you might have already seen it. It's Alex Mid 30s. That's just going to be like uh, daily hacks, uh, dad life, parenting, things like that. So go ahead and check it out if you haven't. I'll leave a link for you over here or in the card somewhere, in, or maybe even in the description. But uh, like I said, some of you might already know what's going on. And if you don't, this is what's going on. So as you all know, uh, I'm a teacher. My wife's a teacher. We just got on vacations on Friday afternoon. Uh, for two weeks, we're going to come back on December the 3rd to go to work. However, on Wednesday of last week, my wife started feeling bad uh, Thursday. Friday, she got off of work early because it was early dismissal, so she went again and, and did a COVID test. Uh, later that night, she was, she put my, my baby, to, well, my four-year-old to sleep, and uh, she got the test results back. And unfortunately, it came out negative. So I say unfortunately because fortunately for us, uh, some of you know, if you see my videos, I have a, we have an apartment on top of the garage and she, instead of going to bed with me, she went to the apartment and she's been quarantining over there. So, uh, it's been tough. Uh, the next day in the morning, uh, I went and did a COVID test. Uh, also my three kids, we, got, we all got COVID tests and got the results uh, Sunday morning. Fortunately for us, it came out negative. However, it was too early according to the protocol of when, you know, uh, exposure and things like that. So we got another test today and um, hopefully it's still negative, but we don't know until maybe even either tonight or maybe tomorrow we get the results. I'm hoping it's going to be negative, but uh, it is what it is. Luckily for us, me and my wife, both of us got vaccinated back in during August and November. First dose, second dose. Uh, we hesitated. My wife, uh, we did a lot of research, so we said, you know what? Before the semester starts, let's go ahead and get vaccinated because we don't know what's going on. So we got vaccinated and she's doing fine. She's doing great. Uh, mm, I want to say kind of minor symptoms however she has like a throat ache uh, now she's getting a little bit of back pain she's breathing fine her oxygen levels is fine her pulse heartbeat everything so far so good but we're just taking the precautions she's over there in the apartment I'm over here with the kids so that means that I am a being a full-time dad something that if you're a single dad with three kids and you know how to do it, leave me a comment below because it is it's exhaust, exhausting. So I, I might be exaggerating, but usually we, both of us work, we divide the, the, the uh, we're a couple, so we do everything as a couple. So 
right now uh, the main thing is that I gotta take care of my kids I gotta get take care of my wife so I've been doing a little bit of everything around here it's not like I have never done everything or I mean but not at the same time that's the thing so I've been washing dishes cooking I do that on a almost on a daily basis but not as much as lately I know how to wash clothes use the washer and dryer of course but that's usually something that my wife takes care of because I take care of some other things so that's kind of like a not written rule but every now and then I use do some laundry but oh my god it's, it's, it's a lot and it might seem like I'm complaining too much but I'm not it's just just wanted to give you a heads up of what's going on and due to that same thing I just want to let you know that I don't have any new videos coming up so um, I'm just gonna it's the holidays I'm just probably gonna take a couple of weeks off I do have things that I bike stuff related that I haven't done yet so like right now I'm on my uh, if you saw a short a coffee uh, last week or something um, indoor training on the Copeland because uh, of course I can't leave the kids unsupervised so I cannot go to the trails plus it used rain so it's just one thing with another one so I'm just riding inside home just to not get super fat because some of you know what I'm talking about <laughs> different story but um, yeah so that's that's a little bit of what's going on and talking about the Copeland I've been using it uh, just over here I have parts for this one that I haven't used that I wasn't planning to upgrade I don't know if I'm gonna put them in what I did change already is the the seat over here because after the first hour ride in the indoor trainer over here it kind of got you know the, the original seat wasn't very comfortable and I think that's on the review for this bike if you haven't seen the review check it out it's probably a card or maybe just check the playlist for the Copeland but yeah um, I might end up putting those parts because I already have them and make videos about them. I still have uh, the review, the trail review for the Black Axum that I haven't recorded. I haven't done it yet. I have a few things that I need to do to my son's uh, uh, Huffy Scout, the 24 inch. I have a few parts that I haven't put in there yet. Uh, I still haven't done anything else to my wife's Cascade 4, so I have plans to do I have parts and everything to do that the only thing that I did change on that was the tires a while back um, but I haven't even written it so I haven't even done a trail review on that thing so I'll probably just do a trail review on that one before I do any upgrades on that one and then see how everything goes on after that but for now my main priority is for my wife to get better, get out of quarantine, and hopefully spend time together. I'm, I'm hoping that this test result is going to come out negative as well. And then just go from there. If you went through COVID, let me know how it went for you. Some people is very different for people to people. Person to person is completely different, different symptoms. I don't know, do you even believe in COVID? So there's a... There's a debate there's a controversial going on still so you just leave me your thoughts down in the comments below but other than that i just wanted to give you a heads up or and if you don't see a videos coming up soon uh, that's probably the reason why i just want to make sure everything's going on well and then maybe next uh next year sounds like a, a long time from now but we're just around the corner I will start making those videos and get them ready for you. I just don't want to make you shoot out any, anything like non-relevant and if I do anything in between it's probably going to be just shorts or quick updates, things like that. Other than that, I just want to say thank you to Carlos Barraza again. He bought me two cups of coffee. Thank you, Carlos. I appreciate it. Uh, it's tough. Thank you, I, you're being right there all the time and thank you so very much on the comments and everything, on Instagram and everything. So thank you for all your support, Carlos. Uh, it's really well appreciated. I hope you, Carlos, and everybody else have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hanukkah, whatever it is that you guys celebrate, uh, make sure it's happy, stay safe, and be merry. 
without further ado that is gonna be it for today but if you haven't please go ahead and subscribe check the links below all the good stuff give it a like share check out my other channel and i'll see you on the trails goodbye